your 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 response reminds me of a, a quote by Ralph Waldo Emerson in his in his essay on nature, which I'm sure you've read. He says we must accept the pace of nature, and our secret secret is patience. Patience mm -hmm. is the pace of nature, and that is something that we have to accept and not engineer or mechanize in any way to push it faster. There's there's an essence there there's there's I should say there's a foundational understanding there that uh, process takes time, and that time just happens to be patience, and we can't manipulate that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think what a I'm, lot of a, a lot of like the, 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 a lot of the feeling, <clears throat> the, a lot of the feeling that we call impatience, is an attempt to to stuff things into linear clock time and into schedules. Because otherwise, like, why not let things take their own time? This, I, I've learned a lot about this from raising children, you know, where like a lot of the conflict when my, my older ones were little, I'd say like two thirds of the conflict that we had was because we had to be at a certain place at a certain time. Like, otherwise, why wouldn't I let Matthew spend half an hour putting on his shoes, you know, and getting distracted by something else? Well, that's no good because we have to be there for a circle, you know, at the Montessori school. So, yeah, and, and, and I don't know, I'm not advocating discarding clocks and with them, I mean, because clocks are the key invention that led to the Industrial Re Revolution. More fundamental than even the steam engine was the clock. Like all factories run by the clock, computers run by clocks. Right. You, you know, you can't have technology as we know it without clocks. However, the colonization of life by technology and the colonization of time by the calendar and the clock has gone too far. It's 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 been this totalizing uh, tyrant that brings everything into its domain. Same with money. You know, it's not that, you know, you're reading sacred economics now. It's not that we shouldn't have money, but the domain of human relationships that have become monetized is too big. And we need to reclaim mm. some of those. So mm. it's really this transition. It's not about rejecting anything, actually, but it's about understanding what's its proper place.